Next question is from M Becker 11. How do I know when to stop a reverse diet? I am four months in and have gained muscle and improved my metabolism. How long do I keep going? Well, um, you, you stop the reverse diet when you're feeling very healthy. Your libido is feeling good. You're getting good sleep. So hormones feel like they're back in balance. And you've reached a calorie amount that you now feel like you can reverse out of or you can cut from, right? So typically for clients, it was when they would tell me all those things, I feel good, everything feels great. And then they come to me and say, I, I, I'm eating a lot. I feel like I, I, I'm eating, I feel like I can't eat anymore. And then I'll say, okay, now we're at a good place where we could start to cut from because then we'll end up will be a good place to start. I, I like that answer because this is very individualized, right? Totally. Like, like it's not a, a time thing. It's not, oh, once you hit five months, you're at where you're supposed to reverse diet. Reverse dieting can take a very long time for some people. It could be relatively quick for other people if they have a very uh, responsive metabolism to things like this. Also matters where their calorie intake was before, where it's at now. The, the generic answer that I is the where you just went, Sal. I always like to, I, if we are gaining muscle, we like the way we're looking. We're not putting on a lot of body fat. I'm increasing calories, whether it be week over week or month over month. I'm going to keep doing that until my client comes to me and goes like, Adam, this is too much food. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I just, it's a lot to Good eat. Good place to be. Yeah. yeah, it's a great, that's a great place to be to now reverse and go the opposite direction and start cutting. What I don't want to do, if we, let's say this person's getting great results, but they're still only eating, let's say 1500 calories or something. And they're like, I'm still kind of hungry. Mm -hmm. Keep reversing. If you're still hungry, keep feeding the body, keep building muscle, keep going in that direction until you get to a place where you're like, this is a lot of food and it's almost hard to get. And that's, that's how, this is how I treated all my competitors. That's why I would never take on a, a client who, who would want to sign up with me and say, hey, Adam, I have a show in November and get me ready for a show because I wanted to do this with them before we cut for a show. I wanted to build their metabolism up to where they looked at me and said, I'm eating so much food. I can't eat anymore, Adam. I don't want to do this. Okay. Now we're ready to prep for a show. Now let's start talking about restricting and cutting and getting ready. I think everybody should go through that phase for sure. If you're thinking about competing and if you're this per just a normal person, I mean, you're the one that knows this answer better than anybody. Yeah, you don't want to cut from low calories because then you're screwed. You know, if you're eating 1,500 yeah, you calories, to go with that. yeah, we're going we're gonna to end up at 1,900 calories. Now you got to maintain at that. Yeah, so not sustainable. No, you want to get it up with good lean body mass, feeling good. That way when you cut, where you end up is a, is a great place, uh, an easier place to maintain.